Hey there, this Jim, KN4YCD. And believe it or not, I know you're gonna be surprised, this is my first video. So I just got in a Siglent SDS2202XE oscilloscope. And uh, just got it out of the box, this is my first oscilloscope. I know a few things about oscilloscopes and there's a lot yet that I have to learn. So we're going to have some fun, learn what we're doing, and uh, learn how to apply this to uh, electronics and amateur radio and uh, a little bit of computer stuff and uh, all things technical, because I am a huge nerd. So when you get an oscilloscope, first thing you got to do is adjust the probes. And the probes all come from the factory, whether you're using the probes that came with the oscilloscope or the factory ones, they all come with an adjustment. And that adjustment has to be done to calibrate this probe to the scope. And the way you do that is you hook up the probes. Let me move my hand out of the way. You hook up the probes to the calibration point, which is a one kilohertz uh, signal. And what I'm looking for here on the display is for these edges to be flat and square. And as you can see, they are uh, not flat and only kind of square. So what we have to do is make that adjustment to calibrate the probe to the scope and that's the whole purpose of this reference connector and I'm not going to go deep into the details of scopes on this video as I said this is my first video and I'm hand holding an iPhone so you know this is not some high quality Hollywood production here so the the scope comes with a small uh, handheld tool and it's basically a screwdriver I don't know if that's going to focus on that small screwdriver but that's what that is is a tiny little screwdriver and right here on the probe is a little set screw that we're going to get to with the probe screw adjuster that's the scientific name for a little tiny screwdriver and of course it's a flat head because you know and once we got it in the slot there we go so now what I'm going to do Just tweak that until we get that waveform flattened out. All right, so I adjusted it a little bit off camera. And I apologize for the bright yellow reflection, that's my shirt. But as you can see, that adjusts the waveform up and down. And what we're doing here is calibrating that signal that is a one kilohertz reference tone, or signal rather, uh, to this set of probes. And what we wanna do is get that dead flat. And as you can see, it's real sensitive. Okay, so off camera, I did a few adjustments and got it, uh, got it set. <clears throat> and what we have also is you can adjust the horizontal and the vertical positioning on the trace in the signal that you want to look at. So what I did is line this up on the graticules. That's the horizontal and vertical lines on the scope so that I had a reference point to get that uh, signal traces as, as square flat as possible. So now that we're, we're looking at a perfect 1000 kilohertz uh, square waveform, that probe is adjusted. And if I use a different probe or another probe on the other channel, then I'm gonna to have to, uh, to set that probe as well. And again, whether you buy factory probes, whether you get factory probes or buy third-party probes, and there are other probes that have some specific functions and, and probes range in price from this set that came with it, which is probably about a 20 or $30 set on Amazon to four and $500 specialty probes that do certain other functions. They all have to be calibrated. And uh, we'll go into, in uh, upcoming videos, we'll go into some of the other functions on the scope. Again, this is a, a Siglent SDS2202XE, uh, brand new. It has a LAN interface. It has USB ports on the back, so you can put in a jump drive to save traces. It has USB port on the front. It will take external triggering devices. 
and it has a web server built in it so you can actually run it from a computer interface uh, which gives you basically the whole entire scope uh, on a computer so anyway guys that's it from FEP labs this is uh, this Jim saying uh, appreciate y'all stopping by if you like the video give me that thumbs up absolutely you should subscribe hit the bell for more uh, technical content and hopefully my my future videos will be a little better shot on a little more professional background and uh, not hand framed with an iPhone but I wanted to get this one done for a few buddies of mine all right y'all have a good one see ya